some of the facts about being a high value man. Uh, welcome back to those who don't know. My name is Kevin Samuels. I'm a professional men's image consultant and life coach. And let's be honest, most of you are drawn to my video, my channel, my platform, primarily because of this thing, high value men, high value men, high value men. It's been everywhere. And I wanted to let you guys understand some other stuff that maybe doesn't get a chance to get covered in the videos or in the shows and kind of clear up some of this thing about what it means to be a high value man. Now, in other videos, I will talk about things like morals and principles and integrity and those kind of things. But for the most part, those things are implied in some of the things or steps that comes along with attaining a certain status. But one of the biggest misconceptions about being high value is that one, it's not attainable that you, you know, that you can't be, you know, uh, born in the mud and do anything. And that cannot be further from the truth. You know, when I think about high value men, I don't think about athletes and entertainers. And I don't think about people who were born into money. And I break it down to something called fact. The facts about being high value. First off, truly high value men are failures. They're failures. They failed often and they failed in spectacular ways. We're talking about divorce, bankruptcy, repossessions, you know, maybe flunked out of school, you know, multiple businesses that have gone upside down. You name it, these people have failed and they failed in big ways because they've tried a lot of things. So I find it interesting that so many people are confused about high value men having issues or failures in their past. I mean, give you a case in point. If you know any truly successful men or you know anybody who's really good at doing something, they don't trust people who had, had it the easy way because one, they probably don't have a lot of respect for what it really takes to get there too. They, they didn't, they didn't, they didn't make it their own way. So good news. If you will have the guts, the courage to try things, you're going to fail. You're going to you're going to, you're going to miss the game winning shot. You're going to miss the game winning field goal. And the thing is, can you get back up and continue to press forward? So in order to be high value, you have to fail. Next thing I talk about is the A. You have to be willing to take action. This is one thing that separates the guys who will be high value from the guys who will talk about it. The ability to get stuff done. The journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step, but there are people who will sit back and read books on walking, read books on running, sit around and have round tables, you know, research. and They got all the best numbers and all it takes is one really simple person to just say left foot, right foot, left foot, right foot. And by accident, they'll get further than people who have all the best knowledge, but refuse to take action. And the C, change. This is the one that trips people up the most right along with failure because people will say, uh, so-and-so can't be a high value man. I remember when I knew them back in the day or back on the block or back in the trailer park or back in the hood or back when they were somebody and they weren't nobody then. And now all of a sudden they reinvented themselves and now they see what they don't understand is if you're not changing, you're wasting time every five years. Human beings should have something different and I am always leery of people who want to just keep it real and be the same all the way through. They're getting consistency mixed up with changing and evolving. Change requires application. Change requires failure and try to do something better. I mean, here's the thing. Look at football. Look, at, look at take. This is why people use sports all the time. Smash mouth football was a was the was the thing in the 60s. But they don't play smash mouth football today. It's a different kind. Basketball has changed. You must change. You must fail, take action and change. But the last part is tea time. 
You got to do it over time. And that's the difference because many people want stuff so immediate. They want it right now. They are not willing to put in the time. They don't have the tenacity to put in the time. It takes work. It takes effort. It takes persistence. And these kind of things are what separates guys who are truly high value from guys who may know the same things, may know a lot of the same things. They may be able to talk it, but they cannot produce the outcome. They cannot produce the outcome because they're not willing to take risks or failures. They're not willing to actually get out of their comfort zone and take action. They're not willing to change. They're not willing to accept new information and find a different way or find a way to do it better. And then they're just not willing to put in the time, wanting to shortcut, wanting to microwave it. And at the end of the day, guys, becoming high value man is an improvement process. Everything is increasing your value until the point to where people find you highly valuable that's the trick it's not a static thing that's only attainable by a certain race of people or a certain gender of people or i mean a certain you know class of people look you can increase your value you can go from Tyler Perry having talking about living in his car to now being Tyler Perry. And it's one of the great things about being a man is you can actually go from being the bottom of the bottom to inside of seven years being at the top. So take advantage of that knowledge that the world affords you the opportunity to improve your value to increase your value and here's the thing for those of you who decide you want to take that journey no matter where you get to you got you're better but for those who don't they want to be the same today as they are for five years from now that's their choice too the difference is one will still be here and the other one will be far on down the road till the next time talk at you later